tips to relieve stress now. Hello everyone, welcome back to A to Z Body Form. If you're stressed out and looking for ways to relieve stress now, then you've come to the right place. Here are 10 different tips that you can use in order to decrease your overall stress levels, whether it's at work or at home. Each tip comes with a short explanation on how to use it. See which ones you find most helpful and choose the one that resonates most with you. Tip number 10 is exercise. Getting regular aerobic exercise is a great way to reduce stress and relieve physical symptoms of anxiety and depression. A number of recent studies have shown that people who engaged in moderate levels of physical activity had lower levels of stress than those who exercised regularly or not at all. Exercising can be something as simple as taking a brisk walk around your neighborhood during your lunch break taking a yoga class before you get started on your day, or even cleaning up around your home if it's something you enjoy doing. If you want to make working out part of your routine but don't know where to start, talk with a personal trainer about workouts that will meet your goals, schedule and comfort level. You might also try enrolling in an exercise class at your local gym. Tip number nine is meditate. Meditation is just a way to relieve stress. It's also an effective way to de-stress. Studies show that mediation increases our ability to focus, which allows us to see past distractions and instead concentrate on what's important. Meditation can be as easy as taking a few minutes of your day in a quiet room with your eyes closed or even looking out at nature while listening quietly to some soft music. There are countless ways you can meditate, but it's all about finding what works for you. Making meditation part of your daily routine isn't always easy, especially if you have never done it before, but once you start doing it consistently, your stress levels will begin dropping almost immediately. The best thing about mediation is that it doesn't require any equipment or special skills. Anyone can do it anywhere at any time. Tip number eight is go outside. The outdoors can do wonders for your stress levels. Even if it's only for a few minutes, breathe in some fresh air, feel that sun on your face and get away from everything else you have going on at home or work. Of course, when people are overwhelmed and frazzled, they don't always find time to go outside. In those cases, we recommend something as simple as calling a friend you haven't talked with in a while or sending an email or text message wishing them well. With all of life's busyness, we can often forget about our relationships, but these little gestures help remind us that we have friends who care about us and love us dearly. When you're feeling stressed out, call someone up to just chat. It will be good for both of you. It may seem like there's no room for fun amidst all your responsibilities, but taking a break is important for your mental health and happiness. If possible, try to schedule regular times throughout each week where you can relax and de-stress. Tip number seven, venting can be good for you. Find a friend or family member and just let your frustration out. It helps to talk about how you're feeling. If it's easier, write down your feelings too. If you don't have anyone in your life you feel comfortable sharing with, reach out online or social media. There are many people facing similar stresses who will happily listen. In fact, stress is one of the most common reasons that people visit forums and groups online when they need a place to vent. And even if no one has advice for you personally, simply talking things through can help release some of that built up tension inside of you. In addition to getting things off your chest, finding someone else who feels similar will remind you that what you're going through isn't unique. You aren't alone and others are dealing with similar issues as well. Just knowing that others share your struggle can provide comfort and lessen anxiety over time. Tip number six is read something interesting. Having a hobby that keeps your mind active can be an important tool for reducing stress. Try reading something you're interested in. Reading doesn't take much time and it helps keep your brain from focusing on all of life's worries, at least for a little while. There are also other benefits from reading, such as improvement in your vocabulary and an increase in general knowledge. The more you read, the more likely you are to find things that interest you. And with so many options available online or at local libraries, there's no reason not to start today. Tip number five is practice gratitude. 
Studies have shown that people who consistently practice gratitude in their work or home lives are happier, less stressed, more creative and more productive. Gratitude is an investment in your mental health. Take time each day to be thankful for what you have. Ask yourself, what am I grateful for right now? You might want to write down a few things or make a list of five things you're most grateful for today. Also, it can help if you let those around you know about all of your awesomeness. Share your accomplishments with others and be proud of what you've done. The simple act of telling someone about something great you did can boost your mood. So go ahead, share that big idea with friends and family. Let them know how awesome you are. They'll probably appreciate hearing it too. Tip number four is try a new hobby. Hobbies can take your mind off stressful situations and give you something fun to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Not only can they help relieve stress and keep you happy, but they're also great for your mental health. For example, hobbies like knitting or woodworking are great anxiety relievers and can reduce depression symptoms. Hobbies that involve socializing with others are especially good at reducing stress. They give you a chance to make new friends and meet like-minded people while letting off some steam in a low pressure environment. If you're looking for ways to relieve stress now, try taking up a hobby. It could be just what you need. Tip number three is spend time with someone who makes you laugh. Laughter is a powerful and positive way to relieve stress. If you don't have someone in your life that immediately makes you laugh, try watching a comedy show on TV or going out with friends and family. And remember, laughter is contagious. So if no one else is laughing at your joke or even worse, making fun of you, it might be time to either come up with a better joke or pick another group of people to hang out with. It's important to surround yourself with supportive people who lift you up instead of tear you down. This goes both ways. Make sure they feel supported by you as well. This is a common cause of stress because we all have things we want to do but just never seem to get around to doing them because our schedule always seems too full. It can be hard not to feel guilty about all those tasks we didn't accomplish but there are lots of things we can do right now that will make us happier and less stressed overall. Tip number two is to get enough sleep. If you're not getting enough sleep, your cortisol levels will remain elevated. Elevated cortisol can lead to decreased insulin sensitivity and cause your body to hoard fat. Get seven hours of sleep per night and try not to work too late into the evenings. Instead, schedule a time in which you'll have some time every day where you can relax and unwind from a stressful day at work. You should also make sure that you get up early enough each morning so that you have time to exercise before heading off to work. Okay viewers, best tip of all and number one is surround yourself with inspirational things. It's easy to find reasons to be stressed, but while stress is sometimes unavoidable, a positive attitude can help you retain your sanity. Try surrounding yourself with art and poetry, as well as people and places that have a positive influence on you. Seeking out these inspiring things will help you become more optimistic which in turn can calm your nerves when deadlines loom or difficult tasks demand attention. What's more, turning off technology at least an hour before bedtime, the light from electronic devices has been shown to interfere with sleep patterns, can also do wonders for your stress levels. And instead of worrying about getting everything done, try focusing on one goal at a time. You might be surprised how much gets accomplished if you stay focused. There is no way to avoid stress entirely, but there are several ways you can manage it. If you're looking for simple ways to relieve stress, try any of these 10 tips. Finding time for yourself every day can help prevent burnout and keep your mood in check, even when times get tough. If you have time at lunch, or if you take a walk during your break at work, not only will you boost your productivity and health, you'll be ready to tackle any problems that come up during your next meeting. So stop worrying about what could go wrong and start focusing on what could go right instead. It might just be easier than you think. We hope you enjoyed learning about 10 tips to relieve stress now. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. We will get back to you as soon as possible.